Okay, we just added a property and now we're going to add our first trail camera location. And you need to do this before you can start uploading photos. So as you can see, we have the Hunt Club as our property. We can select cameras. Um, we can also get to this in other ways, but I'm just going to go and select cameras. You see the property that we just created and there's a button here called add a camera and it's really adding a camera location instead of a camera per se because you can always move cameras around to different locations um, but you will see an orange icon and we can move this icon wherever we want wherever the location of that trail camera is so let's just say that it's up on this tree up here so i'm going to click that i'm going to drag it over here i'm also going to double click and just zoom in to this field here. I'm going to put the camera exactly where it's located. And when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and name the property, excuse me, name the location of the uh, trail camera. And so I would give it something descriptive like uh, Northeast Food Plot. When we do that, we can start to decipher between all of our cameras instead of having just camera manufacturer names. Um, we can select the camera manufacturer. There's a whole list here. I'm going to select Exodus and then for model number, I'm just going to leave that blank, but you can put in the model number if you want to kind of keep up with all your cameras out there. For some of our clients that have up to 200 cameras, can you imagine? Um, that's a great way to really keeping a track of your inventory of your cameras. Uh, camera status is something that will um, if you are moving a lot of trail cameras, you can use the camera status to turn on and off the camera locations. We keep the, all the photos and the data associated with that camera location, but it's just a tool for you to keep uh, an eye on where, what cameras you have out and what locations you've used in the past. Um, and then we just scroll down to the very bottom and we say create camera location. Now, one thing I want to show you too is if your property is clear cutted or let's say you don't have trees on your property and you still have trail cameras and it's hard to decipher where exactly that trail camera is when looking at it from a satellite view, you can use the inner GPS coordinates and you just select this and you can put in a longitude and latitude. Um, when you do this, I would just make sure that you put negative in the longitude because if not, the trail camera location will probably end up in China on the map. So just make sure you put in the right numbers and if it's negative or not. Once you have that done, I'm going to just go back to locate on map instead because this is the easiest way, just drop, uh, dragging the pin to where the location is and we will automatically pull in that GPS information. And that's what we use to go out and get your weather data from your closest weather station. We scroll down to the very bottom create camera location, and that's it. We'll go into how to upload photos in the next video. Thanks so much.